Here we are, Steve Noble, Noble Moto, uh, up here at Skidmark Garage, gonna cover how to solder today. Uh, I already got this propped up here, so the wires are good and held up in place. When you do this, uh, it's good to have something to hold your wires or somebody's hands, or otherwise it turns into a three-handed job. And uh, yeah, strip back the appropriate amount you need here with your uh, standard round-the-mill wire strippers. Uh, in this case, uh, it's a little uneven, but we've got about half inch on one side, three eighths on the other. It doesn't have to be that precision. So the most important thing everybody forgets about is, is the flux. Um, it's a little paste that you put on the wire and when you heat it up, it burns all corrosion and oxidation off of the wire. Um, and if you do not do this, the solder will not stick to the wire unless you get it absurdly hot. So this is a very important step. Some of these come with, you know, a little brush down there. And uh, what you can basically do is uh, smear it onto the wire or you can just dip the wire right into the solder there. And we get a nice little buildup of it on there. And take your soldering gun here. In this case, this one is already hot. Uh, and up to temp. Make sure it's turned all the way up here. This one's already hot and up to temp. Uh, so we're just going to press it up against the wire and actually heat the uh, wire there. And you'll see it burn off. So the flux kind of melt off of there. So now that's ready to accept solder. Before we do that, I'm going to move the solder gun out of the way so I don't burn my wrist. In this case, we're actually going to take the wire here. You can spread it apart however it works for you. And uh, slide it all together like so. So it's kind of all mailed and femaled out there. And just kind of smash it all back down like so. So we're going to take our solder. We're going to heat a little bit up here, put it on the end of our soldering iron. So we've got some molten solder there. And we're going to hold that up to the wire like so. And as it heats the wire, you'll see it actually flow into the conductor. And then we'll add a little bit more here. You see it actually as the conductor itself is turning silver. That's the solder actually flowing in there. Then once you see it flow through, let's use minimal amounts here. Once you see it through, through, yeah. Once you see it flow through, probably way more solder we need. Pull your heat back. All right, give that a moment. Let it cool down. Uh, let everything solidify. It doesn't hurt to blow on it a little bit. All right. There you have it. Pretty much from there, it's a solid connection. So we'll take our little mount off of there. There's a lot of ways you can seal this up. Uh, see, I got a few little extra strands sticking out of there, so I'm gonna take my pliers and just kind of squeeze those down so they're not poking through. And then I have shrink tube here already cut. And the way this works is it's just a little rubber casing. And as you heat it up, it will actually shrink down. So we're then going to slide this over the wire from the end. Or you may have want to actually slid this on before you started if you don't have access to the end of the wires. So we're going to slide over there from the end. Then we're going to slide it up over our connection there, like so. Now you can use a lighter. Some people use a heat gun. Um, if you can really... Another way you can do it is you can just take your soldering iron here. Apply a little bit of heat to it. Just kind of gentle touch so you don't burn it away. Slide it up and down there. And uh, there you have it. A little bit of heat from the heat gun. Pulls the shrink tube right on down. And that's it. A little dirt on there, but got a nice sealed insulated connector. Good and strong. That's all we got. Check out the rest of my videos if you're interested in learning more.